Alright, today we're gonna talk about panning, zooming, sideways, whatever you wanna call it. So, let's start off with putting a video first. Go add movie. Alright, now you have a video. Okay. So what you want to do here Say you want to Move back and forth uh, You can do that You just have to go click on the video And then you click on image offset Now You can move Back and forth Okay but here's the thing, when you do this, you know that this spot right here, when you animate the video, it will have this black part right here, which is not, uh, it's gonna look weird later on. But, I mean, when, when, when we talk about panning, I think you want to pan the part of the video, cause you know how when you record outside, and you don't want to pan and you want to pan onto the you want to pan from here you can do that that's why a lot of people well let's just say me I can't be for everybody I like to have a clean video when I don't have a, uh, a stabilizer but I do have 4k right uh, with a stabilizer you can walk around and, and you know guide your video but when you don't have a stabilizer some people would like to just station on one spot you know and um, and not move and probably don't want to pan either but you want to pan later on or maybe you're not on that spot you just want to put a camera there so by, by shooting at your subject but later on you want to do close up or zoom in or anything but I do recommend you to use 4K if that's the case because when you zoom in in 4K you won't lose that quality you know or, or, or make your video over overblown or so. So let's just say if you're not panning left and right from here or I mean that's I'm sure sure that's not what you want right now. Uh, what you need to do you have to add an effect strip adjustment layer and, and blur this out hide this oops what wrong one go back here again you want to add not adjustment layer I'm sorry you want to add transform with transform you can zoom in left and right and, and so you know so you have to transform the video in order to do that like for for example right this is no longer in use, just make sure you hide it by pressing H and then uh, click on your transform click on your uh, scale okay remember this value 001 in case you want to come back on the regular like for example I zoom in a little bit see you zoom in right now you want to go back to your original just just press 1 you, you, you back to your original so well the zoom in and zoom out or panning side to side you need to animate it the way you wanted it like for example in order to animate it you insert the key thing on pretty much what control the video so let's just say you want to start by focusing on this car right here or e even better Say you want to pan over this side, so you can start from this side by zooming in, and then you can start from right here. Okay, drive safety. Oh, you see how this, how this, uh, because pretty much it's, it's, it's uh, you probably just need to zoom in a little bit more so you can cover it. You know, because you don't have. It's pretty much the the size, the frame size, what you call it, 1080 or whatever. But anyway, but you know, the more you zoom in, 
if it's not 4K, you lose this quality. It'll become more like overblown. It's kind of look weird on your video if, if it's too overblown. That's why like that's a good thing about 4K. When you go in, you can still see the detail, you know. So, so let's just say you want to start from right here. You insert keyframe, right? By pressing I, the position. Okay, this is position. There's rotate too, but you no, know, I hardly ever use that. But you can use rotate, which is rotating, you know. That's when you're making like a music video, you could just rotate it back and forth. Alright, from here, now you wanna go maybe like five key things. Alright, maybe right here. And then uh, you, you could reposition this again. So you pan in this to all the way over here. And then you can insert keyframe. This is just for example. This is not like I'm actually. Okay, so let's just now. So so you know that if I go back, it will go back to where I first started. All right there. Now you have a panning left and right, or zoom in. You could even zoom in, zoom out. Like for example, say right here, right? I just, I just put a key from here. Yeah, I put it on. You don't have to do this all the time. You can always press record. So whatever changes you made in the keyframe, you know, it will, it will put it there. That you don't have to. I, I just prefer blue and manual. I don't really care. But anyway, say. Right here, and you move five frame forward. You want to zoom out or, or something, All right? All right? Let's just say like this: zoom out. It's really good for zooming in, zooming out. There you go. I right. I'm pretty sure you you know what to expect. Well, I don't know, you know, this is, but yeah, but it's pretty much, yeah, you get it. But anyway, this is good for telling story, like, you have like an image, and you want to make motion on it, you know, this is pretty, really good. You know how they narrative and go, yeah, this is the father, you know, this is the mother, and this is your, this is his kid, and then it's kind of like, pan, do, zoom in, when it's actually just a piece of picture. You know, it zoom and then the music all like dramatic and everything. Yeah, you could do just the same by animating, you know, the right here. So anyway, I think I pretty much covered the the zoom in, panning left and right part. So like I said, if you not doing that, it's it's actually a lot cleaner when you do this. I don't know if you know this because you don't have a stabilizer this is make they make a video a lot cleaner that you do all the zooming and everything later on but you should plan ahead that you know what you're looking for you know otherwise you just put a camera there and then well I mean it, it's, it's still my work you don't know what you might get in a video and then you can just crop it make it look all cool and everything you know so you don't really have to be by your camera or video camera to to you know you could focus on other thing and then you could do this later on yeah uh, so yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time peace